for you. Take a look at this. According to USA Today, federal employees earning salaries of over $100,000 jumped 5% during the recession's first 18 months. So we're asking a question here. Are government workers overpaid? Here's what you had to tell us. Martin says government employees are a drain on the economy. They're overpaid and they're underproductive. But Faith, however, counters many of the professionals, professionals in our office, for example, the IRS, were attorneys or CPAs. They were well paid paid, but nowhere near what they could have earned in private practice. Ben Ferguson, syndicated radio host at Icon Network, says, yes, government workers are overpaid. And Dr. Mark Lamont Hill, associate professor at Columbia University, says federal workers deserve the salaries they make. Okay, Ben, why are you saying they're so overcompensated? They're totally overcompensated. Look at local level. There was an interesting report that came out last year that said on the average, cities were paying city employee roofers over $70,000 when the going rate in most municipalities in the country for private industry was around 32000 Look at the stimulus package. The average job created would cost over $100,000. I mean, you see all these municipalities. Look at St. Louis. They just laid off how many police officers on Sunday because of their budget problems. But guess what? The majority of their employees on the upper echelon, as they call it, are making over six figures. And they all got pay raises last year and the year before when they couldn't even meet their budget. So the government says, hey, we know it's tough for you, but we're going to still get our raises. Look at Congress and the senators. They got a raise this year. All right, Mark, let's go to you on this. You respond to Ben. I mean, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, every study they put out shows that government workers have a 25 to 40 percent premium over comparable private sector workers. What's your take? They're more talented than private sector workers. They have more experience. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's that simple. Come on. No, you know what? Even, even congressmen have an, what, 9% well, approval rating? They're not, well, and they're not that smart. Well, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can take Congress out of the equation. I can see that Congress is not more talented than the average so American. They're bad, Maybe not their the average fifth grader. No, what I'm saying is that if you're talking about talent and experience and education, um, people in the, in, the, in the government sector have more than people in the private sector. That's a fact. More, only one third, for example, of people in the private sector have college degrees. One half of federal employees do. So there's Mark, more experience, Mark, there's more education. Mark, perhaps you're only talking Mark, about the, up, the upper say... echelon of, of government workers, congressmen, but you know, there are a lot of government workers across the spectrum, the, right? No, no, but the, the majority of, um, the majority of government averages. workers do not have a college degree. That's absolutely false and incorrect. The majority of people. Said that are on payrolls do not have a college degree. You look at... Ben, look at, hold on, for example, let me, let me, hold on let me, second. No, 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 well, you cut me off first. Ben, with the, I was referring to people who make more than $100,000. I was talking about the people who you referenced when you said people making six-figure salaries. That's who I'm talking about. All right, let's talk about the actual people that make up most of the checks going out. Look at most municipalities. They have two different classes for people that fill potholes. Why? Because they want to give people more money. A senior pothole goes, makes over $70,000. So what, you can put actual cement and asphalt in the hole better than the guy that's not a senior advisor? I mean, give me a break. It's well, total waste, the, and you know straw, it. Ben, that's a straw argument. I wasn't referring to pothole fillers. Again, I was referring to people making more than six figures. If you're talking about people make, making less than six figures, one of the things you have to think about is experience. Another thing that you have to think about here is well, then, the fact that people is the fact that people in the private sector are often underpaid. Yes, people make more in the government, but people often don't have a living wage in the private Mark, sector. You know this as a doctor, as a professor, you look at it. If these people are so smart, I have one in question as a consumer. Then where's the return on my investment? Why is it that we pay more money? Prime example in education when it comes to public school teachers, and we get a total lack of response all over the country on a return on investment. But private school teachers make about. 35 to 45 percent less, and all those kids do better and go to private schools and ben, go to college. Well, well Ben, to, you, to, to respond to your example, people who go to elite private schools don't just have awesome teachers. They also have two parents in the household. They also have access to social resources. They also have books. They also My have... My point is, though, when no, you no, said no, earlier point, that there the was a correlation is, between money yeah, and success, it does not at, connect because our public yes, school systems get paid ben, more than anybody. And you could throw well, another well, 100000 at each teacher ben, and it wouldn't matter. There's a, ben, ben, there's a difference between correlation and causality. I didn't say that there's a one-to-one -one connection, but there is a correlation when you invest more in something, you get more out of it. That's why we want people to invest in the private sector. Not true. Sector. No, yeah. absolutely. Not, absolutely. It's not in government. It, it, that would be a true in the private sector, but in government, we see it every day. We spend over $100,000 for every job creating the stimulus, and we have ben, nothing to show for ben, it with our employment. As the president ben, said, ben, we were no going to cap unemployment. With you. No one disagrees that there's, that there's not waste and fat in the, in, the, in the public sector. No one is saying the government doesn't need to clean up its act. My point here, though, is to take away money from workers to suggest that someone who's making money in the, in the government sector is, Mark, is, 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 is the essential part of the problem. Mark, 
Mark, isn't true. Mark, and it's not government, it's that Mark, fact Mark, based. Mark, Mark, government is government. And the point of this conversation is, is are they government. making that's too much money? Okay. And the point is, yes, and the they is are no. making too much money. No, no, and no, we're the not point getting is, return no, on investment. No, no, Ben, that's not the point. The point is that I'm saying they, they do not make too much money. And you're, you're showing that there's fraud. You're showing that there's waste. You're showing that there's inefficiency in government. I don't disagree with that point. But there's more to point to than just salaries. There's other things we can look at. we got to leave it there. It's a great spirited debate. Thank you ever so much. We will see you all when we come back. Countrywide.